man shot at that rally is having a hard time supporting his family. KBC 9's Andy Alcock is getting answers on some possible help. He's live at Union Station right now. Andy. Bria, James Lemons knows he is very lucky to be alive tonight. He was at the Chiefs parade when he says he was struck in the back of the leg by a bullet while carrying his five-year-old daughter, Kensley, on his shoulders. He says doctors told him that bullet lodged in his muscle, just missing his femoral artery. If that artery had been hit, his life could have been in serious jeopardy. The bullet is still in his leg, and he needs surgery to have it removed. But unable to work and without insurance, he can't afford it. James tells us he and his family have borrowed money from family, friends, and set up a GoFundMe page. It's been a tough road. You know what I mean? I've been... We, we, we've been struggling to find out ways to deal with the mental problems that my daughter goes through and figuring out financially how to deal with the money and everything else. The KC Strong Fund set up for victims has raised just under $1.5 million. A spokeswoman for the Greater United Way or Greater uh, United Way of Greater Kansas City tells us the process is still ongoing to determine who is eligible for those funds and will likely be about a month before those funds are started to be handed out. Reporting live outside Union Station, Andy Alcock, KMBC 9 News. Andy, thanks. A United Way board meeting is set for Thursday where members will talk about ways to distribute the money. The United Way is working with the Jackson County Prosecutor's Office to verify the victims.